Good morning and welcome back to the Delta News. I'm meteorologist Clay Smith checking in on today's forecast. Now it is Friday, but our Thursday was quite warm. We topped out in the mid 60s. We had some rain around, but only about a quarter of an inch fell. It's a lot colder today. However, that cold front really packed a punch. I'm going to back up and show you what I'm talking about. There it goes. It was speeding off to the east. Now giving the showers two portions of the east coast. Going to have another secondary system swing through the Gulf Coast, but it looks like the rain will stay to our south for today. But temperatures are much colder and you can see where that cold front is slicing across much of the southeast here on the west side. It's much colder temperatures in the low to mid 30s area wide with warmer temperatures down towards the Gulf. And as we zoom in currently 31 into Greenwood, 27 in Oxford, 32 into Clarksdale and 35 here in Greenville. So again, there is some cold air out there. I definitely suggest grabbing your jacket before heading out to work this morning or wherever you may be going. And as we track out the rest of your day again, that secondary system going to continue to bring some showers along the Gulf Coast and this front that moved through also going to stall out, which is going to help enhance that rain really from Southeast Texas along the Florida Panhandle. But notice most of the activity stays to our South today. We'll have some clouds around and it's going to be chilly, but you know, no rain to worry with. But as we go into tomorrow, things change. It looks like a low pressure is going to develop off the Gulf Coast. That's going to bring a lot of moisture into the southeast. Now, it looks like it's going to de develop in a location that's not going to give us a whole lot of rain. However, a secondary system will help influence some showers tomorrow afternoon into the evening hours. But notice most of the heavy stuff is going to stay off to our east. But uh, it does look like cooler temperatures will be in store heading into your Sunday. And again, the models have just been all over the place with these Arctic air blasts that are coming through. Uh, they have a hard time picking it up, but it does look like we're going to be chilly this weekend, briefly warm up, and then the middle of next weekend and next weekend, we can see some of the coldest temperatures we've seen in quite some time. And as we look ahead in the next six to 10 days, about an 80% chance of seeing below average temperatures heading into next weekend, which will be the 10th to the 14th of February. So again, models are still trending very cold. And in fact, you know, next weekend, especially Thursday into Friday, we could see some of our coldest temperatures we've seen in quite some time. We may struggle to get out of the 20s some days for high temperatures with some teens possibly, possibly coming in the next weekend. So that'll be something to watch. We're also tracking the potential for maybe some wintry weather. It's a low wind threat right now, but I'm going to go ahead and talk about it because I've seen it all over social media. There's definitely a chance Wednesday into Friday, wintry mix, anything from freezing rain to sleet to maybe even a little bit of snow or rain. You know, it's just a, a lot of uncertainty with these models, but not picking up on too much in the way of accumulation for now. But again, this forecast is going to change drastically over the next couple of days. We'll get a better idea as we head into next week, but I did want to at least mention the threat. But again, for this weekend, we're looking good and today 51 a mix of sun and clouds going to be chilly tonight. 38 partly cloudy skies, not a bad night. And as we go into tomorrow, increase in clouds, lows or highs, I should say in the 50s and then showers coming back in to the forecast late in the day. And as for your next seven days, well, not too bad, going to be a little cool, but as we go into the middle of next week, that's really what I'm going to focus on over the next couple of days, trying to figure out what we're going to get Wednesday into Thursday. Right now, it does look like a wintry mix will be possible with temperatures really falling off heading towards the end of next week. That's going to wrap it up for your morning weather. Now over to you, Tamara.